Well, my, my age-old chart says that centralisation is three things. You're either preacher, politician or policeman. That's what clients want to get out of it. And it's an accent of those three. Now, that's the kind of set answer. The other set answer is that people want efficiency or they want best practice or they want all those kind of things. The real answer, I think, is that if you want to centralise, you should centralise because you want to see the best ideas in real time, in a market, in time to be able to take them to another market and proselytise and evangelise across the network so your best ideas flow seamlessly across the world. That's what it should be about. Fortunately, quite often, it's about other things. But there are grades of centralisation. I think if you, if you start out, you want to start out probably by influence because you can't always be command and control. Top-down strategies tend not to work. So it is about a certain degree of process, a certain degree of influence, and that's why a network such as ours is so brilliant at doing that.